Hi, I'm Kristen Garnett, the Digital Marketing Manager here at ProFood Systems. Today, we are going to introduce you to the Champs Chicken Breading Table. This is a critical piece of food service equipment for all your branded retailers or any deli operation where freshly breaded fried foods are being prepared. The table was designed right here at ProFood Systems with three important goals in mind. One, to make the hand breading process as efficient as possible for your deli staff. Two, to produce premium quality fried foods that not only taste great, but remain consistent from day to day, store to store. Three, to waste as little seasoned breading as possible without sacrificing the quality of the finished product. First, let's take a quick tour of the table and then we'll show it to you in action. I've asked Jeremy Galloway, our Senior Product Development Manager, to help us with this demonstration. He leads our quality control efforts here at ProFoods as well. You can't hear him, but Jeremy says hi. Starting at the top, this is called a staging tray. It's used to transport your breaded product over to the fryer. Underneath the staging tray is a pan for a separate breading profile that is usually not your main one. We often use it for our special cornmeal-based fish breading. Here are your two large breading pans, one for your breading, the other for a wet batter mix solution. Our breading procedure is a simple three-step process. In a nutshell, the product goes into the main breading pan first, then into the wet batter mix, and lastly, back into your breading pan for a second coat. One, two, three. See this red plug in the bottom of the main breading pans? This is the portal into our unique motorized sifter. This feature separates our breading table from all others. It will keep you from wasting a tremendous amount of seasoned breading over time. As you are breading your product, you will notice more and more little clumps of breading that will build up in your breading pan. That's natural. After you're done breading, you will want to save as much of the good breading as possible, but first those clumps, let's call them dough balls, must be removed. So all you do is pull the red plug out and push any unused breading down into the hole. The motorized sifter down below allows you to remove those little dough balls. Turn on the sifting motor here with the green button. The red button turns the sifter off. As you push your used breading down the hole into the sifter, it will separate the clumps from good breading. This tray holds your good sifted breading and the little one holds the discarded dough balls. Problem solved. Here you will find your good sifted breading that can be reused and a small pan of clumped dough balls that will be discarded. It saves tremendous amounts of quality breading day after day, month after month, and year after year. The savings alone from this single feature will pay for this equipment many times over. Okay, now let's look at our breading table in action. We're now back to our three-step hand breading process. Let's start with a product like our popular Champs Chicken Tenders. The first step is to drop the product into our main breading pan. This one's filled with Champs Chicken Country breading. This is a dry, well-seasoned breading that is used in over 500 branded deli locations and countless other unbranded locations as well. As you pull the product out of the breading pan, gently shake off the excess and put the product straight into the large batter pan. This is step two. The batter pan holds up to three gallons of our special batter mix solution. Once you have all the products submerged into the solution, you lift up your basket and let it drain for three to five seconds. These first two steps of the breading process impart more flavor into the meat, but most importantly, when your first coat of breading becomes wet, it literally forms a natural glue that will allow a second coat of breading to stick far better to the product. So now, in step three, your product goes back into the breading tray for the last time. Using your hands, give these pieces a good solid second coat. This hand process produces a good home style look and the perfect amount of delicious breading on the final cooked product. Grab your staging tray, then pick up the product out of the main breading tray. Gently shake off the excess breading and continue to place the double breaded pieces on the staging tray for the entire batch. These proven techniques will help you minimize that time between the first and last pieces for the batch to hit the hot oil. You will be better able to obtain a consistently cooked quality product every time. The purpose of the staging tray. Let's talk a little about our preparation strategy. As you are breading these tenders for a second time, the last thing you want to do is put the pieces into the fryer oil a little at a time. If you do that, the first pieces you drop into the fryer will be well overcooked compared to the rest of the batch. 
So your goal is to minimize the time between when the first pieces drop into the oil and when the last go in. The shorter that time, the more evenly every piece will be cooked. Here's how the staging works for real. After you have used your breading for several rounds, you will inevitably end up with those dough balls we talked about earlier. If they are not removed, the fried breading will end up to be too hard, too crunchy, and too dark. Here's where our automatic sifting mechanism really comes in handy. Here's the control panel for this sifting motor unit. It's actually very basic, so to sift we are going to press the green button first. This motor will run for 60 seconds and shut off on its own, or you can press the red button to stop it manually. Then, you pull this lower tray out from underneath the sifter. The larger front pan here will hold the good breading that remains after sifting. Lift the pan up and pour this good breading right back into your main breading tray above. There in the smaller back pan is where you will find all of the nasty dough balls that the machine separated out for you. Simply discard those. Other breading tables usually lack a motorized sifter and often waste huge amounts of perfectly good breading. At a busy deli operation, this is how our proprietary equipment will pay for itself in no time at all. That's the simple process your deli workers will repeat over and over again to produce consistently great tasting and outstanding looking products that your customers will love. Let's wrap up with a few important features of the Champs Chicken Breading Table that our retailers say they really appreciate. The table has a small footprint, which is so important in areas where floor space is always at such a premium. It's extremely sturdy, made of solid stainless steel, and is very easy to clean. The unit sits atop four quality wheels, which makes it easy to move for cleaning purposes. The table works equally well sitting to the left or to the right of the fryer, a common problem for other tables, so it really fits into any kitchen configuration. The motor for the sifting system is fully enclosed, which makes it more sanitary as well. Health departments really seem to like that. The sifting unit is incredibly fast. Just compare that to an agonizingly slow hand sifting process for the deli staff, which dramatically increases labor cost. Hopefully you can now imagine the efficiencies the Champs Chicken Breading Table could bring to your hot food operation. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or would like a quote on this table, feel free to give us a call at Pro Food Systems or send us a quick email. Thanks so much for watching.